We're looking at Detective Comics number 197 from 1953. Batman playing with his own model kits. Great cover. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the very first Batman model kits. All plastic assembly kits by Aurora. These were made in the 60s. This is the original artwork for the first Batman model kit produced in 1964. It wouldn't be the first time he's hung out of a tree. Here's the splash page to Detective Comics number 32 from 1939. It's the back cover to a Silver Age comic using the same graphic, advertising the model. And here's the box to the very first model kit. This was issued in 1964, 1965, and in 1966. But it's one of the very few Batman toys to predate the television series Batman Craze. Here's a professionally built and painted example. In 1966 they made this Robin. It's an awesome box. There was a large find of these back in the early to mid 1990s and a major Batman collector discovered that it was filled with something other than the model kit and uh, so people were easily able to replicate the cellophane folded on the sides and um, filled it up with something of the same weight. Not sure who that was that faked those Robin kits, but um, there were multiple toy dealers in Toy Shop Magazine and at shows around that time that were reproducing the Aurora model kit boxes. One of them was Rocky Sorrentino, though it, I don't think it was his work. And another was Jamie of Darrow's Fun Shop in New York. Here's the Penguin that they produced in 1967. It's an absolutely beautiful box. Here's how the seal folds on the side panels. Out of all the Batman Aurora kits, the Penguin is by far the rarest and the most valuable. Here's a couple built up examples. They're often missing that second umbrella face does resemble Burgess Meredith, who played the Penguin in the 60s TV series. Mobius in 2016 produced this Burgess Meredith Batman TV series related model kit. It does bear a great resemblance to the 67 Aurora original. Now on to the vehicles. Here's the Batmobile. This is the lighter box and more common box. In 2010, Polar Lights reproduced it. Here's the much more rare purple box, which can sell for a lot more. And the side panel. And of course, history repeats itself and Polar Lights makes a purple box variant. ASC produced this tin Batmobile after the 66 Aurora model kit box. They didn't even alter the Batmobile logo. The light blue, the thin border and expletives. Here's a rare 1969 salesman sample box for the Batmobile model kit by Aurora, put out by Berry's Cookies and promoting their nine foot tall display that is with the pole. You would have found these in supermarkets back then. They came out in 1966 and 69. They're three dimensional vacuum form, they're fragile and they're valuable. Here's a rare store display sign for Detroit promoting the Batmobile. And a rare 60s large poster promoting Aurora Hobby Kits. You're looking at the back cover to Batman 189 from 1967 advertising the Aurora Kits. The following are a couple more print ads from the 60s. On to the other vehicles Aurora produced. So here's the Bat Boat from 1967. It would have been inspired by the George Barris design after the 66 Batman movie. Here's the side panel. 
2003 Polar Lights reproduces it. They make it in this box as well. And there is a rare white chase variation. And the Bat Cycle. I think it's one of the better ones. That's just my opinion. It reminds me of that made for TV movie from 1979, Legends of the Superheroes. When Robin separates from Batman on that sidecar. I remember seeing that as a kid when it first came out, as well as the 66 movie when it came back to the theaters in 1982. In 2003, Polar Lights reproduced it with a slightly brighter blue box, as well as this extremely rare black box variant. And in 2010, they made it in this fat box style, just like the boat and they made the White Chase variant. In 1966, Aurora made this Bat Plane, obviously not tied to the TV series since Adam West's Batman didn't have a Bat Plane. So in 2003, Polar Lights reproduces it. The only other 60s Batman-related piece Aurora did make is this slot car. Fast forward to 1989, and in Model and Toy Collector Magazine, Barry Krause is the artist here that depicts these fantasy models Aurora never made of Batgirl, the Riddler, the Joker, Supergirl. Here's the Joker. Yeah, obviously, Carmine Infantino, Joker graphic with the Neil Adams Batman depicted there, which is interesting, um, because in 1968, Neil Adams started his run on Batman, and that's the date he placed on this fantasy box. Fast forward to 1974, Aurora comes back with these comic scenes model kit. Uh, it's just like the Aurora, they recycle it again. Here's the side panel, comes with this mini booklet. Over in Great Britain they released it as well and on the cover of the box the graphic is flipped and there's the US to compare it to. It's funny because in the US Aurora fixed their box Batman graphic to face the way the model is. Great Britain changed it back to what it was in 64. Here's a side panel. Here's a promotional flyer for Aurora's 1974 giant poster puzzles. And here's the actual giant poster puzzle in box. It's nine feet long. And here's the 1974 comic scenes Aurora Robin model kit. There's a built up example and his comic scenes mini booklet or comic. Fast forward to 1984 Superpowers Batman model kit made by MPC. They've reproduced it 20 years after its first release, slightly altered. They give him a chest decal this time. There is a darker purple box variant. Here is the side panels, which I think are awesome. Because they depict a professionally built up Example, here's the paperwork it should come with, instruction sheet, and the decal I told you about. The contents come sealed, like this. Here's someone's built-up example. Doesn't look too bad. Fast forward to 1999 and Ravel now has the license and 
reproduces the Aurora Batman model kit. I know you would have thought it would have come out in 1994 since it's produced every 10 years. 64, 74, 84. Here's the Robin, they go with it. And the back of the boxes. Finally, I'll leave you with this bootleg blow mold figure um, where the card rips off the graphic to the original Aurora Batman model kit. Only they flip it 